Hi, this video is about my favorite top 7 courses you can find on Coursera in 2020, in 2021 and hopefully so on. Coursera is definitely one of my favorite platforms to learn and the reason for that is because the courses are well prepared, coming from the top-notch institutions uh, that you all know about or from the uh, companies like Google. So there's a plethora of good material that you can learn from. And finally, you can learn all that for free because all the courses have the option to audit them before taking them and passing the certificate. So if you go to particular courses, you can always choose to audit the course and see what's inside, go through all the videos. And then if you need the certificate, you can just subscribe and pay for the course to do that. Uh, so that's really a great way to learn. What you're looking right right now is my article on my blog. I will send you a link down below in the in the YouTube comment so you can have a look as well and go to directly to the uh, to particular courses. First of all, my top number one, uh, the course uh, machine learning from Andrew and G uh, from Stanford. So this course basically started Coursera as this right now. Andrew and G is one of the co-creators of Coursera. And this course actually started Coursera as we know it right now. And still really good course for anyone trying to learn, trying to get into machine learning. Uh, it's more on the mathematical side, uh, there is less coding, more more stuff on how uh, mathematics or uh, of machine learning works, but it's really great. It covers all the fundamentals, and you should really try it. Even if you're not into machine learning that much, if you're just into you have an engineering background and you want to have a look, uh, because this is what started this kind of massive online education, and it became really a hit with that. So definitely have a look. Uh, then Google IT automation with Python. This is an entry level course for anyone trying to get into IT. Uh, there's, there are six courses in this, uh, in this um, certificate, uh, in this specialization, and it's great if you're trying to get into IT, to try to understand things like Git, GitHub, learn about Python in order to use it uh, in your job, and then search for, a, for an entry-level job. So definitely have a look at Google IT automation if you're at the very beginning of your career. Uh, it's a great way to start. Another thing which is super standard and I really love it is IBM Data Science. I've been talking about this course in a couple of places. I simply love it. Uh, it's really well prepared for anyone trying to get into data science. Um, and it's, you, you really don't have to uh, have much of the knowledge or background in computer science in order to start it. Probably you should take a course in Python maybe before uh, because the, the, there's a steep learning uh, curve on learning Python here, but you can also start with absolutely nothing and just uh, by watching what's in, in it, uh, learn to code. Uh, also, the great thing is that you can program a lot within Coursera. You don't have to go... Um, Outside of Coursera, uh, there, there are different uh, coding exercises that you can do directly on Coursera platform. So it's really great because uh, in this one place, we will have everything um, and you can just start learning, start to code. So I really like it, totally recommend it, especially if you think about data science career. Again, this is mostly for entry-level uh, entry level positions, but in total, there are nine courses so maybe you can find something for yourself also if you're trying to go into more uh, mid-level positions as well there's a plethora of things from uh, different things like both python but also sql how to process data a little bit of mathematics also a little bit of statistics uh, in order to get it going uh, you can also see uh, my video where i talk just about ibm data science and how it looks inside uh, on my YouTube channel, this is one of the most popular videos right now. So the next thing is Python for Everybody from University of Michigan. Uh, this is a great course for actually for all the people that have no technical background at all and never programmed in their life and Python will be their first programming language. Uh, this course is just the basic way uh, to get into programming. So for example, if you wanted to start with IBM Data Science, but it turned out to be too difficult. Start with Python for everybody, learn uh, all the basics on Python, and then go back to IBM uh, data science. Um, and th this will be great. 
On the other hand, if you're already more advanced, then courses by Deep Learning AI are really great. Uh, they've just added a new specialization on TensorFlow. Uh, I got an email uh, in a newsletter just yesterday, so it's always great to know. I haven't checked it out, but the course that it's, this is the, the specialization that's really recommended is Deep Learning. There are a couple of courses inside and they all talk about neural networks, how to build neural networks, uh, different terms, uh, which are standard and you will learn from convolutional net neural networks uh, to LSTMs and other things that you might be interested in. Uh, deep Learning AI is also done by Andrew and G. So um, it's also coming with this uh, high quality videos, different examples, different um, different topics uh, and this is course is mostly for people at the mid level or senior level that just want to uh, complement some of the knowledge a uh, plethora of examples uh, really up to date especially with new new courses being added uh, so there's a lot lot to learn I'm, i keep on uh, coming back to this specialization and generally to the materials coming from deep learning ai because as I said, I really like what uh, Andrew NG is doing in the space of uh, teaching uh, data science, machine learning, deep learning, and so on. And he's really doing that really, really well. So definitely check it out. Uh, also, if you're even before that level of like mid-level data scientist, uh, mid-level uh, machine learning engineer, you still might want to check what's inside the course in order to know what to expect uh, as you progress in your career. So definitely have a look at that, check it out. Uh, totally recommend it, as I said. Um, then number six, data science uh, from Job Hopkins University. This course is pretty similar to what was done by IBM Data Science. Uh, the difference is the, the final project, the capstone project, as they call it, where you can use real world data in order to create a data app. Um, and basically, that's that's the main difference with IBM Data Science. Apart from that, the material is pretty similar. Finally, uh, course number seven, AI for Everyone, uh, also by Deep Learning AI. Uh, this course is really great because uh, this course is explaining AI for all non-technical people. So uh, if you have business background, if you want to understand AI, but you don't want to get into technical details, then this course is basically for you. Uh, it covers everything, like what's the difference between machine learning and data science, how um, AI works, what's, what's a neural network, and all those things and how you can use AI at your company. So this is a perfect course for all the uh, decision makers, for all the business people, for all the people that want to implement AI or want to understand the language of data scientists or machine learning engineers and don't know where to start. So this is the basic course where you should start because it's also done by Andrew NG and he starts really from the very, very beginning and he assumes you know nothing about AI. So he also debunks a couple of myths about AI, what's important, what's not, uh, things like whether it's quantity or quality of data that matters and many different stuff like that. So it's really important, especially if you're thinking about applying AI in your company uh, or just understanding how it works. Uh, so that, that's basically seven courses that I really like. Uh, truly, I recommend all of them. And thanks to the Coursera being this open about, you, you can actually go and audit any course you want. You can really go through all the videos in all the, um, all the courses here. And uh, finally, I have to mention that if you like what I'm doing, then I also have my own course on data science. It's called Data Science Job Course, uh, basically directed at people with uh, no computer science background who want to get and build a career in data science. Uh, it just doubled in size uh, in, the, in this month thanks to the all the new new videos that i've recorded and i really uh trying to have this comprehensive source on different materials on what you should learn in order to progress in your career so this is somehow complementing to all the more technical courses that you can find for example on coursera because what's missing on coursera is a course which would teach you how to actually progress with your data science career, with your machine learning career, what steps you should take, how to master a job interview, uh, what things you should learn and how to find a job, how to look for a job, what kind of positions you might look like or what's the difference between a data scientist or a machine learning engineer, what's the difference between data analyst and data scientist 
and so on. Many different facts, many different, uh, I think, interesting knowledge that, that is inside this course. So definitely, if you're trying to get into data science, get a data science job, check it out. Uh, the link will be also down in the description to this YouTube video. Finally, please hit the smash button, subscribe to my channel, and then see you in the next episode.